All right, welcome to this short video on how to uh, apply to Aideron Robotics and to sort out things like your API keys and your character IDs, some of the numbers and info you're going to need. You've hit enlist and you've found yourself at this place here and you're going to need some of this information. Character name this should be straightforward. It's the character you're using to apply to the corp with. So I'm going to use the character 100 frigates. Your Eve character ID. Now, if you've not used this before, you're going to go to a website called zkillboard.com. And when you get there, you're going to type in the search bar the name of your character. In this case, 100 frigates. Select your character. And in the address bar, you'll see uh, slash character slash some number. That number is the one we want. So copy that. That is your character ID. So come back here, paste that in. API key ID. Now, if you've not set up an API before, I'm going to quickly walk you through the process. Go to the website community.eveonline.com and under the support menu, you'll see an option that says API key management. Click that. It will ask you to log in to your Eve account. Okay, so that's not your character name. This is the account name and password that you use to log in to the game. And now uh, we've got API key management. Basically create a new one. I'm going to create a new one here. Now some information we need to put in. The uh, name is not your character name. It's just the name you're giving to the API key. So in this case, I'm going to call it Adoron Robotics. It doesn't matter what you call it. It's just to, for you to identify what this one is for. You do need to select all for your characters, not one of the three characters I've got on this account, but all. And make sure you've selected character, not corporation. The next thing you need to go through and select all for each of these options. We need a full API key for your application. So there are one, two, three, four, five uh, sections there that all need to be highlighted. And once you've done that, you simply hit, uh, now expiry is up to you. You can set a date for your key to expire or you can set no expiry. That's completely up to you. Uh, I'm going to just leave mine with an expiry date and hit submit. You've now got an API key. It has a key ID and it has a verification code. They are the numbers you're going to copy and paste into this part of the application form. The key ID and the verification code. Copy that. Paste that in there. The rest is up to you. You can fill in the rest of the details, but that's what we need in terms of uh, identifying numbers to proceed with your application. What will happen is when you submit that, an email will go to our recruiting team, who hopefully within a day or two tops should be in touch with you, but we'll also talk a bit in a minute about how you can help that process along. Well, actually, in fact, let's talk about that right now. So your application goes off to our recruiters, give them a day or two. If they see you in game, they may want to touch base with you and see if you're free to have a convo, uh, either on TeamSpeak, which is what uh, we'll look at in a moment, setting that up, uh, or in-game. Uh, you can push that along a little bit by hitting up the Ada and Robotics public channel in-game. If you don't have that set up or don't know how to, here's the process quickly. Uh, this will be, uh, if you click on this, you'll be able to set up or join certain channels. You can also access that if you don't have it set here, which I think it is by default. But you can go to social channels, type in here, Ada on Robotics. Okay, hit enter. And you will now uh, be in the Adron Robotics public channel. Now, often you'll see Adron guys hanging in there as well. Uh, don't put anything private or personal in there because that's a public channel. But uh, if you see someone from Adron Robotics in there, you may want to have a chat and say, hey, is, you know, is there anyone around for an interview? They'll ping through our Slack channel and see if there's anyone available to have a chat to you. Uh, you can always double click on the character to see if they are in the corp. Um, just like I said, this is a public channel, so they won't necessarily be all add-on robotics uh, characters. So, yeah, keep an eye on that public channel. That's also another quick way to uh, get that moving along. And then probably the third and uh, final thing you can do in preparation for your application and interview is download and set up TeamSpeak 3, which is the voice comms that we we'll use in our fleets and also for your interview. Simply go to teamspeak3.com and hit the download TeamSpeak. Uh, you can install that onto your computer. When you've done that, you'll be able to go to, let me see where I've got it here, TeamSpeak 3. Okay, in, uh, once your interview has been set up and a time organized, 
you'll need to connect. Here's what will happen is the recruiter will give you the server address. So you'll go to connections, connect, and they will give you this server address here that you need to type in. You can put in any nickname for now. Uh, once you're in the corp, we'll, we'll do a specific format for that. But for now, I can use anything. Hit connect and the recruiter will drag you into our fleet channel to carry out the uh, interview with you. All right, that seems like everything I think I can think of. Good luck and uh, we look forward to flying with you soon.